Over the years, I've had some pretty wild ideas, but I always know I'm on to something when somebody comes to me and said, you can't do that, that's not right, it won't work, that's when I know I'm on to something. Point in case, eyeballs on the booties, bones on the wetsuits. It's those kind of chances that really have built kind of who we've become as Buell Wetsuits. I'll make wet suits hotter than blue steel, a new deal, a cartwheel, a fin keel, a great seal. My love of surfing and my love of the beach and being a junior lifeguard growing up uh, and being from the chilly waters of Santa Cruz, I've been in and out of wetsuits since I was a little kid. And I also grew up as an artist and I had the desire to do design. So eventually I got a job at Hotline Wetsuits and I was given a chance to really spread my wetsuit wings. I was able to manage a factory uh, that was producing wetsuits and actually do a bit of the design and construction myself. So that was the launching point for me as a wetsuit designer. To work with Flea and Barney during a time frame where all the brands were in Southern California and we felt like we needed a reason to stand out here in Santa Cruz and people had nicknames like Rat Boy and Flea and Barney and the Condor and uh, these were wild characters who weren't afraid to push the limits to uh, pioneer big waves, to go for big airs, to try and get photo shots instead of chase the contest scene. Barney came in hot, as he often does, and he's like, let's get nuts. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, I'm working with Nelly and a lot of the photographers, TR at the time, and they love the brand new bold wetsuits. Let's get nuts. He was like, let's take it to the next level. And I'm all, well, what do you mean? Who's your favorite superhero? And he's all, Spider-Man. And Barney moved like Spider-Man. Anybody who's seen him move, he'll walk up and down the stairs on his hands like Spider-Man. I remember drawing the spider webs and uh, weeks later, he was getting the cover of Surfing Magazine in the Spider-Man suit at the box. I, I mean, he really was a superhero. And for Flea, it was, it was Mavericks. And um, Flea wasn't into the superhero stuff, but he was bold and he was all about waving the flag. He was about Santa Cruz High. He was about Santa Cruz Pride. Uh, he's about the west side. He let it ride on the bottom of his boards, made that shield famous, and uh, I felt like he needed a wetsuit that honored that same look. So for the first Mavericks contest, we made him a red, white, and black Santa Cruz High West Side Pride wetsuit. I got all the boys to write a message to him on the inside of it. And we wrote things like, win it for the boys, uh, take home the title, west side, Santa Cruz, and sure enough, he, he took home the title that first year. We made him another red, white, and black version the second year. Uh, he beat Slater in three straight heats to win that. Carried right on to his three-peat. So it was bold wetsuits, it was punk rock, and it kind of formulated uh, a look that you can see in my brand and the wetsuits I designed still to this day. Over the years, I kind of developed my own pattern making abilities. I, I developed my own unique ways of designing wetsuits and created my own wetsuits, even built my own wetsuits. And I'd really become an eight armed wetsuit monster. And I was ready to spread my wings. And I was working for somebody else who had a different you know, idea. And I had some bold ideas. And again, like most people, she 
told me that won't work, and I said, I'm gonna try it. And on Independence Day, I took my own independence, and it wasn't long before I decided I wasn't done making wetsuits yet. In fact, this was only the beginning. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I took a bold step and committed to something that I know I'm good at, and I knew I was passionate about, and uh, oh, here we are today. I'm, I'm stoked I did. You know me, I'm loud, I'm proud, but I didn't want to be the full face of Buell. I needed a younger, crisper, new version, uh, something that represented the future of Buell surfing. And I was fortunate enough to find another Santa Cruz kid that I felt like really representative of that fun, creative, always positive, friendly side, and that's Austin Smith Ford. Austin's more than just a good looking surf kid. He doesn't give up on anything. He sticks just about everything. He's never afraid to take creative chances. The get rad segments that he made, his intersection segments where he was in some sort of time machine and a portal and one second he's on a big wheel and next second he's ripping the top off a, a wave at the hook. Like, felt like he fit the Buell model and persona perfectly and here we are 10 plus years later and he still fits the mold. I love me some Austin. I feel like we've remained true to that industry core and um, in this day and age where you see a lot of brands you know um, chasing the dollar and then ultimately um, getting sold and then sometimes even selling out it just it makes our path that much clearer it's remain the course stay true to the game stay true to the industry stay true to the story stay true to the athletes you know we got the biggest team in all of surfing I stopped counting them over 70, and I love every one of them. You look through our office place, and at any given time, it could be a, a QS final. Noe Kailu Kukui, Bud Friedis, Matt Rockhold, Nate Yeomans, Adam Veers. Uh, the list goes on and on. The, the true surfers we have involved with the brand blows me away. And the guys who wear them who don't ride for us, Kelly Slater, made him an 18 suit quiver and he used them most of last year. And he loved them. Dane Reynolds, he wanted to see what the fuss was about. We were born in the water. We're always gonna be in it for life and now we're just keeping it real. We are the eyeballs on the booties. We are the bones on the wetsuit, but we're just as much the smiley face on the inside of your knee pads because we're core, but we're just as much about fun. I'm in it for life, are you?